The excitement around Purdue's campus and the greater Lafayette community is building ahead of Purdue's Final Four matchups this weekend. I hope that we win the, all the way through. Purdue student Oscar Rosado says campus has been buzzing leading up to the big games. Yeah, you can see actually everybody like buying the t-shirts, like building the excitement and everybody like on Saturday doing their activities just to watch the game and then celebrate. People are buying their Final Four merch and students are invited to a watch party at Mackey Arena. In Lafayette, Lafayette Police Chief Scott Galloway says they're lighting the panels outside gold to support the Boilermakers. And so we think it's a special opportunity right now to do it for the Boilers in the Final Four. So we're proud of Purdue, we're proud of the alumni, of the education they provide, and also the sports team. So we'd like to honor Purdue. Rossville Elementary School is also showing Purdue some love. Christy Schaefer's art classes wrote letters to the team wishing them good luck this weekend. So I wanted the students to really show them that um, they are appreciated for what they've done and that they have some fans all the way down to kindergarten and um, they, they just want to wish them good luck on the rest of the rest of the tournament. As for the Boilermaker fans in Phoenix, they're in for more than just the game. Bruce Barker, the piano man, announced he'll be performing at State Farm Arena South Lawn this weekend. I'm looking forward to playing for all those Boilermakers who traveled so far and trying to bring a little bit of uh, their experience at Purdue and the Cactus and all the fun things that they do on campus out to Phoenix. He emphasizes when Purdue wins on Saturday, he'll perform a public show on Monday before their final game. The community is wishing the Boilermakers good luck as they look to play Saturday in their Final Four matchup. And if they win that, they'll play for the national championship game on Monday. Reporting at Purdue University, Vinnie Motorano, News 18.